Hi all, welcome to Vision Board Community. So today we have a guest. Actually, we uh, he will share a lot of things to us. So how you can crack companies and uh, what are the things you learn from your career. Maybe you are working with a different technology with a low package also. There are a lot of things you can learn from him. So that is the reason I created this podcast. Hi, Susan, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Yeah, Sun, welcome to this podcast. And uh, can you give like what is your like in background? How you get like a good job, like a like a transition to like actual data engineering? So, what are the resources you used? How much time you spend your study? Everything that will help you lot of people. Okay, mm. <laughs> I started my career in two thousand thirteen. Uh, that time, I providing some training on Microsoft okay. Office package. Ah. from that uh, from 2013 it started my it career and it is the beginning of uh, the world of data and world of computer mm -hmm. in i working in there uh, there is uh, the package is not that much uh, mm -hmm. good in there and uh, apart from that uh, i switch that company then i joined uh, another company and mm -hmm. same uh, designation as a it trainer in there i working in there Okay. And uh, one has a dream uh, to crack the government job, so I also prepare for that one also. And I am trying mm -hmm. uh, to got a government job that one, but okay. not possible for me. So I did that one also. And finally, I heard about Power BI, oh, which okay. is a analyst tool, which is less code kind of things because we are not a BTEC graduate. Data analyst position, right? Data analyst position. Yeah. So I'm a become graduate. I'm not a BTEC graduate. I'm, a, I'm okay. not a BTEC person. So I didn't know much on IT, but I love to learn IT because my background, I told you already, yes. from 2013 onwards, I started my IT career. Exactly. So I am a become graduate and uh, less code, uh, I prefer always. So I got an opportunity for uh, Power BI. Mm -hmm. In that particular uh, thing, uh, I learned Power BI. It is took one year something. It is not oh. easy to learn Power BI. It very easy. Some person told that you can learn Power BI two to three months. It is not possible for that. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. uh, so I uh, give my whole time time. Oh, it is near around one year for uh, okay. for learning properly on data analyst as a Power BI okay. developer. That okay. time I got a job in a project. Uh, in a not that much um, big company it is a very small company it is a startup kind of company which i joined as a uh, power bi analyst or a data analyst in that particular company okay with uh, similarly it is also a less salary in that also there also uh, okay. i work in in that particular uh, post as a data analyst for one year mm -hmm. after that i heard about you uh, for uh, data, Azure data engineering kind of thing. So I uh, inclined towards data for big data solution or terabytes or petabytes of data, trying to, mm -hmm. to clean it, trying to transform it, trying to load it. What is ETL? What is uh, Databricks? What is big data kind of things? I want to love to learn those kind of things, technology. Uh -huh. So I got a chance to learn this kind of technology from you, from other sources also. And finally, I got a job in a very reputed organization, which is one of the best organization ever in, in India. Okay, one, okay. Every, in India. As an Indian, you love to work in that particular organization because mm. it is a dream come true for everyone. So I got mm. a chance to working in that particular organization and uh, is uh, with a good package salary, which I never expecting such kind of package salary I got. <laughs> And, but Susan, uh, actually, from your potential, you can learn a lot of things. I can because when I see the Susan, this is like a different level. Because Susan is consistently learning for 2013 onwards with a low package, lot of struggle, and but uh, you can easily so then if you focus, you can easily get a better, better job also. That is the one thing I'm also telling. I know you have a power. So uh, it was be like in but uh, how many how many time you spend Susan like in for learning this skill and or like a kind of transition is not easy exactly you are coming from a BCom background BCom background and learn a lot of technology then again some spending time with the government jobs and all right 
it was very difficult so how you overcome those kind of struggles and all what is your inner motivation inner motivation like uh, i saw some person on data engineering big data tools they are like hadoop in hadoop uh, big data solution big data engineer on linkedin a uh, nokri mm. the, the package salary they got uh, the the skill uh, the mm. uh, the company and uh, the growth kind of things which always exactly. motivate me mm. and uh, the metro city i uh, never went out from that uh, that where I, uh, previously where i'm staying is uh, like a uh, underprivileged area and uh, mm. the metro city like hyderabad or bangalore or mumbai such kind of things i'm love to work in there wow super so, so that's the motivation for me also and apart from that one package salary and at the same time uh, the earning opportunity and the growth potential of the data engineering or the big data solution exactly so, so that's, that's... Uh, give me the motivation at the same time i love to learn day to day activity if i told you on uh, azure data engineer my day to day activity majority working on adf part azure data factory uh, <laughs> the source is multi- the, the, there is a variety of sources there is not a single sources so you connecting near near around 10 to 12 data sources as per the wow. client requirement we can think that, that. Okay. okay at the same time we the, the data volume is not that much it is not petabytes or petabytes of data per day it is a, it is a incremental load we do but mm-hmm. the data volume is near around 500 to 1 gb near around per day and at okay. the same time uh, uh the data uh, the structure is very complex in nature the mm. data is not not structure we got complex type of data also uh, definitely and it will be challenging data. one yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah, that's the thing they um, and at the same time uh, we are on, on not focusing on single uh, solution we are multiple solution if like okay. we use data flow yeah, mm. azure data factory data flow we use data bricks we do snowflake we do sql coding we do python coding also and okay. majority part also in data bricks also at the mm. same time it is end to end work from data fetching data cleaning data transformation to data visualization of how we it oh. is uh, that it is uh, it is a rotational work kind of things mm. that's the mm. thing i do and uh, uh, that rotation it gave me a boost for that to learn everything like mm. uh, from data bricks to adf uh, to sql python uh, to data bricks uh, to power bi and sql mm. everything okay. learning at a single day so oh. it is a good thing and apart from that uh, um currently i'm still learning phase and i'm mm-hmm. love to learn and uh, trying uh, to learn more technology like airflow or uh, like uh, apache kafka for streaming pipeline uh, mm-hmm. for uh, for hadoop uh, data storing data hadoop architecture so i love to learn on that kind of things also so yeah. learning is uh, never ending you have mm-hmm. to learn if you learn then you have to grow. think to grow if you learn yes. then you definitely grow <laughs> exactly because as a data engineer life or software engineer life is learning right complete yeah. kind of learning yeah. and all really and uh, really... there is no any age bars ah, any, ah. anyone exactly. can crack everything there is no mm-hmm. any because if you have a skilled person definitely ah. you got a job If because you are the best example we come to it then currently assured data engineering position handling all the thing it will really uh, appreciating no, your it, yeah it is appreciating to you also because you always motivate me sometimes <laughs> you also know that whenever i'm facing any kind of issue i definitely call you or ping you a message on that you definitely help me on that also so it is very helpful to nature for you and so i'm i'm very happy to have you like a mentor and at the same time in future well, if there is any kind of problem i definitely ask you on that also <laughs> i'm also happy when these kind of words like this kind of at least people are telling me like, these kind of words really motivate me to doing these kind of podcast and all just helping so uh, because sometimes me for example in my case also there are a lot of uh, down states are there but some people in our life will come we will getting more energy so that is the one thing i just start like uh, helping people like suzan also suzan also ask me some doubt definitely we are implement try to implement as we are discussing in the call itself that will be really challenging for in some time but it's really happy suzan so any other like and uh, motivation to give your community for whoever really want to because lot of people need to be learn azure data engineering but they are really stuck in some way suzan do you have any kind of motivation or helping words to them 
uh, if I told you, ma'am, uh, learning is uh, a good thing, but the problem mm -hmm. is that uh, if you learn something, you have to implement it directly. Exactly. It is yeah. the main uh, thing, main challenging thing is that we learning the thing and not able to implement it. That's the way we facing some multiple challenges in during our day to day activity. So yes. learning it and directly after that you have to implement it, and at the mm -hmm. same time learning and uh, executing it uh, the main thing. Apart mm -hmm. from that, uh, uh, I always suggest everyone that uh, if any opportunity you got, definitely give multiple interview, multiple multiple yes. company. You have to attend the interview and give and and there is no any kind of worried for the rejection. If you got rejection, you should be take it as a take it as a positive way and uh, give the interview and crack the multiple company and finally uh, choose a better place for uh, for job and join that company on that. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. yeah, thanks, Asand, for the amazing podcast, Jyot. Anyway, this words will motivate a lot of people. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.